Eukaryotic genes typically contain introns, which have to be removed after transcription. Before the RNA transcript leaves the nucleus, the cell splices out the intron sequences. A few short nucleotide sequences provide the cell with cues of what to remove. The elaborate molecular machine that carries out this task is called the spliceosome. A branch point binding protein, BBP, and a helper protein, U2AF, recognize the branch point site within the intron. And an RNA and protein complex, called a SNRP, recognizes the 5' splice site by forming base pairs with it. Next, another SNRP base pairs with the branch site, displacing the bound proteins. Additional SNRPs now come into play, and several RNA rearrangements occur to break apart the U4-U6 base pairs and allow the U6 SNRP to displace U1 at the 5' splice junction. Now in position, a conserved adenine nucleotide in the intron attacks the 5' splice site, cutting the sugar phosphate backbone of the RNA. The end of the intron covalently bonds to the adenine nucleotide, forming a lariat structure. The spliceosome rearranges to bring together the exons, allowing the 3' hydroxyl group of the first exon to react with the 5' end of the other. After the two exons are joined into a continuous sequence, the lariat is released and degraded.